you guys know, we have been talking about downsizing for quite a while. And now with my husband, you know, situation, we are actually putting the house on the market. Actually, the house is now on the market. Hi, guys. You can see me a little bit. Hopefully just a little bit. I am not ready. Let me show you guys the house. Uh, this is the master suite, as they call it. And, okay, our dilemma right now is this bedroom set. We love it. We've had it, oh my goodness, for 10 to 15 years, all right? So, um, like I said, our dilemma now is trying to downsize to a master suite that will incorporate our furniture. Our children are saying we're not downsizing enough, but we have to, you know, have enough space for this. Uh, this is another area that I love. This is my um, master bathroom. Hi, guys. <laughs> Um, yeah, I love a really nice tub, okay? That tub right there is what sold me this house. Um, yeah, so let's just move on, okay. All right, so that's the master suite. Now, this is probably what sold my husband on this house, is this room right here. This was his room. Look at it, okay? Look how big this room is. This is our bonus room. This is where we had our exercise equipment. Um, of course, this was his bird, uh, what do you call it, bird nest during the summer months and his caveman station during the winter months, okay? But this is the bonus room. And yeah, it's freaking huge, okay? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so anyway, uh, this leads into the guest bath and the guest room. So this is what it looks like. All right. It's the guest bathroom. I'm just, oh, don't want to flash you guys, but there we go. That's the guest bathroom. And then this is our guest bedroom. And I really love this window, you guys. Now, for you, those of you who are do-it-yourself homeowners or, you know, fixer-uppers, I put tape. You guys see that? I put tape up there to hold my Christmas lights. And I cannot get that tape out off the windows. So please help me, okay? If you have any suggestions on how to do that, please, please tell me. All right, so this is um, the window. It looks out the front of the house. When we moved here, our son was, oh gosh, um, a teenager. And so he would have to catch the bus. And thankfully, the bus came right there, okay, just right outside this window. And so at six in the morning, it would be pitch black, dark still, and he would have to be out on that corner to catch the bus. But luckily and thankfully, um, it was right in front of our home. So that's a very big selling point for those who may be looking to um, buy this house that have children. Now, this is the um, foyer area. I love my foyer <laughs> because I bought these beautiful pictures. You guys, you see these? Those are my ladies. I bought those pictures for this foyer. So another reason we have to downsize, but to a house that is a uh, you know, um, a story and a half to two stories is because I want to keep my pictures. And so this is what it looks like from upstairs when you look down into the foyer area. All right. Now on this side of the house or we call the 
west wing <laughs> if you will uh, these are the children's quarters and so uh, this is my daughter or actually they share this but of course my daughter took over it it and she painted it herself and all of that good stuff and just pretty much made it hers my son would always go to the uh, guest bathroom and uh, so she pretty much claimed this whole bathroom <laughs> just for her of course it does go straight into the room our daughter um, was in so this is now what it looks like I'm not sure if I'm going to keep all of this all of these um, uh, this furniture in here, I'm, I may keep it and just put it with the guest bedroom because I do plan to keep the guest bedroom or the guest bed anyway. And this is my daughter's walk-in closet. Uh, of course, she still have clothes here. Uh, clothes that she hadn't seen in years, okay? But she doesn't want me to throw away for some reason. Right. And here you can get a sneak peek of our back Our backyard which I absolutely love this backyard of course it's winter time they did some aeration and all that good stuff so the grass isn't as beautiful as it normally is but um, yeah this is our neighbor's home or the back of their home and then that's the uh, other neighbor home there and I love our yard because it's just amazing. I absolutely love it. It's perfect for if you want to put a pool out there. We had a trampoline. All the children in the neighborhood loved it. This, of course, is my son's room. Okay, you can tell the different color schemes and everything. They wanted their own individual colors. He loves blue. He's a Titans fan. Okay. Uh, a gator fan and all of that so uh, right now we just made it into a more serene kind of area this is a great place where I do my makeup or I was doing my makeup and stuff so you'll see a few of my items still here that I haven't packed up yet I do have a formal living room and dining room this is it here and oh my goodness you guys i'm gonna have to sell my furniture so yes all of that is for sale i'm going to actually be putting it up on offer up or somewhere i don't know i don't know now look at this beautiful picture i'm keeping this okay this is my cottage that I say I'm going to have when I reach heaven. <laughs> my heavenly place is going to look like. Isn't that beautiful? Okay. So anyway, um, yeah, this is my only live tree right here, you guys. I do not have a green thumb. All of this is like a set, okay? I really love this furniture and then of course the formal dining room this too will be for sale like I was saying the homes nowadays don't have formal living rooms and dining rooms and so we're not going to be able to take all of this furniture so yeah and then you just march right on into the kitchen area, which is a wonderful social gathering for our family. Uh, it's open and everything. And so this is what it looks like. I just finished right there um, my breakfast. So I uh, have a little water stain there, but plenty of cabinetry and everything and I have the windows open right now it's so nice and cool here um, oh my god it feels so good it's like in the 60s and it's just wonderful um, and so yeah this is where we come and we socialize and we watch television or we just sit and talk to each other and all of that good stuff this is what we call our living room but actually like a family room okay and yes, we do have a gas fireplace and all of that. So 
this is it. This is where we have called home for the last 17 years, you guys. Uh, I do have hardwood floors. Absolutely gorgeous. I love hardwood floors. Um, this is another full bathroom down here. So I do have four full baths, five bedrooms. This is my computer room. Now this is also a bedroom, but we just turned it into an office and that's what it looks like. Absolutely love my cabinet. I'm not sure if I'm going to take that one with me or not. I want to, but it's so big. Okay. I'm not sure if we are going to be able to take it with us. So it may stay with the house, but this is it. You guys, this is the tour of my home It's for sale. So <laughs> bittersweet actually but um my husband when he comes home we're just not going to be able to do the stairs okay um and so we're trying to get a uh, more of a a ranch style but still a uh, store and a half if that makes any sense just so i can make sure i have room for this and uh, more to come about, you know, being a homeowner and trying to sell and buy at the same time. If you're going through that or if you've gone through that, please leave some feedback down below. Let me know. Um, yeah, and I'll talk to you guys soon. This is the lady, lady at 50, signing off for now. Be blessed and a blessing. Bye bye.